beauties, welcome back to my beauties at Big Sister channel. It is well and truly festival season. So um, I thought I'd give you some really simple and easy makeup hacks that you can do for festival season. I've got some really cool products in this video. As I said, really simple and easy to do. So you don't have to feel like you've got to be super technical to get a really cool festival makeup look. Let me know if you are going to any festivals in the comments below. I'm going to be at Wireless this weekend, which I cannot wait for. It's my favourite festival um, I don't think I'm going to be going to any more festivals, but yeah, let me know if any of you guys are in the comments below and let's get into this video. Now the easiest and probably the thing that comes into your mind first off when you think of makeup for festivals is tattoos really really easy to do i featured them in videos before from festivals you can get them from so many different brands um my favorite ones are from lottie london and they're just really cool metallic tattoos that you can put on and they will last the day and they look really cool these however i've never actually used before which are face gems now i know them from the is it shrine of gypsy gypsy shrine now barry m have brought out their own so you can go to the drugstore and get these um, they do loads of different really cool designs like this i'm not sure how i'd feel about this centerpiece but you know when you go to a festival everything that you normally ever do goes out the window like you dress like you would never dress before face gems are a really cool way of just looking like you've made so much effort whereas these take two seconds to apply. These are the Dream Queen face jewels. So you literally just press them onto the skin to apply them and then peel them off to remove. So you don't have to be scrubbing with glitter and stuff when you get home. I guess you can put this underneath the eye or above the eye. It depends what kind of vibe that you want to go for. So let's pop these up here. I mean, how easy was that? It's in like two seconds. No, I wasn't careful enough. I've lost a gem. Okay, so be careful when you are applying these because I just lost a gem, but I managed to recover it. I feel like this is so out there for me. I kind of love it. They are kind of lifting, so do press them down quite heavily. If they do come off, what's a really good idea is just to keep a little bit of eyelash glue in your handbag and you can always stick them back on again. Do I put one in the middle? It's got one gem rather than the big gem. That's so cool! So you can do this with the facial tattoos or the gems, but I mean, I'm loving the gems. Obviously glitter is huge at festivals. Playing with this kind of glitter can look amazing, but also it is super, super messy. I don't tend to reach for these pots of glitter that much just because I just find them one, too messy to apply. I'm gonna get it all over my bedroom and then you've got to try and take it off in the evening. So these for me aren't the best choice for glitter, but this is genius for me. So this is the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. I mean, why did anyone not think of that before? So this is in the shade Lucky <laughs> and it's a gold glitter eyeliner. I was so skeptical about this and then when I tried it, I was like, you can do whatever you want with this and you can put it anywhere you can line your lids with it you can create cool little stars and hearts and stuff and then you can just peel it off when you want it off that's unreal no scrubbing of glitter is involved i'm just gonna line my upper lash line here as you can see really easy to do so i've just done a glitter line there it's just so easy to use Imagine trying to do a liner like this with loose glitter. I mean, it just wouldn't happen. Maybe I should try and do a little heart. Can you see that that's a heart? I don't know. Obviously, it's gonna last a day, so you can party. Glitter is not gonna fall down. It's not gonna get everywhere. It's just the quickest and easiest way to apply glitter. And I love this little heart here. I actually think I'm gonna do this for the festival because it's subtle, but that's so me. So now that it's dry, I just take a little bit of the corner and you'll be able to see it literally just peels away. What a genius idea. Look at that. 
Done. That's how easy it is to peel off. Next product I'm going to show you is this. So this is the Lottie London stamp liner. This is a star one. You can get all different kind of ones, but it is essentially just a stamp. So you can stamp on a star so quick, so easy, no faffing. That's all you do. So you can see here, you've got an actual liner on this side, a liquid liner. And then this is your star side. So I'm just going to pop this three stars up like how cool is that okay i'm getting carried away now that just took me what like two seconds to do like if you had a real smoky eye and then you just had your stars coming out you could put it underneath your eye you could put it above your brow there's so many different places you can put this and it is the easiest way to Put a star on your face. Now with these kind of pots, so these are the NYX Vivid Brights cream colours. You can get these in so many different colours, basically every colour that you can think of. But they're the perfect consistency of like a creamy paste. So it's really, really simple and easy to create any look that you want to. Or if you want to draw something really artistic on, these are great products to use and the pigments are so good. For instance, let's just do on this side, I'm going to pop in the end of my brush into this green. This is a beautiful green. What is the color? Aqua Sapphire is this color. And you can just pop maybe like a dot up here. That's just like a really cute way of adding some color to your look. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could take these like all the way along the brow. You could literally draw anything with these pastes. Pigment is just so good in them. So you can just get this eyeshadow and match the color made to what you're wearing. If I had like a green play suit, this would look so cool. And there we go, just some easy green dots to add some funness to your look. Funness, is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> the next product is for lips. Now, I have featured this on my channel before, so if you haven't seen that video, then this is the Ciate Glitter Flip Lipstick. I mean, it is very, very clever. If you want to wear a kind of glittery lip, but you don't want to physically put glitter on your lip, then this is really innovative. You just take what I've already got on, off. This was a sleek matte lipstick in a rose gold shade. I'll pop it below if you do want to check it out. So with the glitter flips, you pop them on and you wait. How long do you wait? Let it dry completely for one minute. Then you press your lips together and it reignites the glitter and the sparkle in the lipstick and you'll have glittery lips. It's really comfortable to wear, which is good. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is beautiful. Um, this shade is Valentine. It's a pastel pink. They do all different kinds of shades. If you really want to go out there and wear different colors, they have got so many different colors in this collection. Oh, I love this color. This is one of their latest colors that I haven't tried before. So we're gonna let that dry and I'm not gonna let my top lip or my on it touch. Okay, I think it's been a minute, so I'm now gonna press my lips together. Can you see that? That is so cool. It just gets me every time. Can you see? The glitter. It's just a subtle glitter that you get with these lipsticks, but it just makes it a little bit more fun for a festival rather than wearing a plain lipstick. Now, for the last bit, which is probably the most fun bit, this is the new Glitter Mix Glitter Gel. This is by Models Own, and they have loads of gorgeous different colors, but obviously, I was drawn to the pink. So, you can put this on your body or your hair, so it would look really cool if you do have space bars and you put this in your parting that would look really cool but I am gonna put it on my chest for now this is how it looks in the inside so it is a gel it's fully glitter I mean this is glitter to a whole new level right here so I'm just gonna take a little bit oh my god it's like a putty hair out the way put a little bit on here I mean I don't know what I'm doing here I'm literally just popping it all on I mean, I was literally planning on doing like a heart and glitter. Just kind of put it everywhere, didn't I? 
I'm gonna put a little heart on my face and see how that looks. I know it says body and hair, but I think a little bit on the face. Won't be too bad. I feel like I got a bit carried away, but how amazing does it make your body look? So yeah, you can kind of do whatever you want with this. I do feel like it would probably be better suited for in the hair. I think that would look really, really cool. Um, it's kind of worked here with the heart. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to set. I think if you do want to do like a face glitter, the Too Faced liquid eyeliner is probably a better shout. But on the body as well, this looks really sick. I really hope that this video has given you some festival makeup inspiration. Have an amazing time if you are going to a festival. I now need to jump in the shower to wash all this off. But if you did enjoy this video, please comment below, like below, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're having a really good week, beauties, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!